Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I'm going to attempt to show you some plugins for SDR Sharp. And where you can find these plugins is go to RTL sdr.com and then go under the page um, big list of RTL SDR supported software and then go down to list of SDR sharp plugins and let me zoom in a little bit if I can with the camera You know, I have to move the camera, of course. Let me see if I can move it electronically. Oop, went the wrong way. Boy, I need a camera, man. Okay, so here is the list of SDR Sharp plugins, which you can do a Google search and find this web page. Unfortunately, the web page has not been updated for quite a while. Matter of fact, it says the date on here is May 18th, 2013. So it's a starting point. And the two things I was looking for as far as a plugin is a plugin to make the SDR act like a scanner radio and a plugin to record what was captured with the SDR as far as the audio. So I found two these two packages and see if I can find a link. Whoops, I get the wrong mouse. <laughs> I got two computers running here. Um, yeah, it's this one here. Again, this link may be outdated. Let me just try it. Let's go to download link. And we'll know right away if it's the right link. Yes, this is the right link. And this is a Russian website, or at least the author is Russian. So, yeah, and it's in Russian. So you have to go over here to Google Translate and select the language. In my case, it would be English. And then it will translate the page for you. And now it's translated. Now, it struggles with translating from Russian to English. So, it's a little difficult to read. But anyway, this is the program, uh, yeah, this is the plugin for having the STR Sharp act as a scanner. Okay. Also, the same author... Oh. Thank you, Charles. Okay, I, what you're hearing in the background is I had I found a frequency that I thought might be the forest service. I haven't heard any conversations that will identify that, so I'm not sure I've got that. So I've got that running in the background. That's what you heard. Okay, so he's got this plug-in, and uh, let's see, where is it? Do, 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 somewhere, maybe not on this page. Yeah, all the plugins available on this site. He has also the other plugin I was looking for, which is a recording program. Um, he calls it, let's see, it's down here somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. You can see he's got all these programs, plugins. And uh, where is it? Hmm. Frequency man. He also has frequency uh, man. That almost sounds like a hospital. Yeah. Uh, base, this is 16. Can you find a bristle there? Ready? And I'll pick him up on the way back to Reef from 
regional, please. 16, can you repeat that, please? Can you find out if Mr. Larry is ready to be picked up? I think what that is, is in this area, in Pinellas County, there is a shuttle service, it's vans, that will move people uh, from hospital to hospital, from uh, nursing homes to hospital and stuff like that. So I think that's what that is. Okay, it's not what I thought it was. Okay. Hell, I don't... Digital auto continues, but no, that's not it. Where is it? Good grief. I get so... Ah, baseband. No, it's not a baseband recorder. Audio processor. No, that's not it. File player. Nope. So it's not by him. So let's go back. But these are all the plugins that he wrote. So let's go back. And see where I screwed up. Well, I'm going to miss annotations that I can't put in corrections of things. Oops. Okay, so this is a separate tab. There we go. Back. Okay. Now let's see if it's in here. Do, 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 detector. See, look at all these plugins. I mean, you could go nuts with plugins. Audio processor. Where's the recorder? I'm looking for the recorder. Oh boy, there's so many. That's a recording plugin. I think that's it. That looks familiar. Let's go to. Well, we don't want to download. We already downloaded. That's it. I'm pretty sure this is it. Yes, format looks what I'm looking for. So here's the plugin for audio recording. Now. Let me finally get away from this, and I'll show you. Now, here's my SDR Sharp. Let me, uh, I'll zoom back out for a few seconds. Okay, there's my SDR Sharp running with these two new plugins. Pro <laughs> That's easy for me to say. I knew it was going to be a bit. Okay, um, these two <laughs> new plugins. One of them is called Audio Recorder. Now, I wish that you could modify yourself the title of these plugins. So I could put in something more descriptive. Because there's another one called Audio up here, which is the one that comes with SDR Sharp. Oh, anyway, here's audio, excuse me, Audio Recorder. And it has a ton of options. You can select where you want to put the recordings. Uh, you can open a folder that has existing recordings and play them back. And then you got this configuration button. Let me zoom in a little bit. I really need a cameraman because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay, there it is over there. Let me see if I can move over here. See, if I had a cameraman, he could be doing this while I'm yakking. Okay, so there it is. So, one of the options is configure this plugin. And you've got all these options that you can change. And one of the big options is the rules for creating a file name. And this is the default. And so you can modify this. There's no instructions on how to modify what these things stand for. So I'm leaving it alone. But when it creates a file, it's calling the file by date, group, frequency, space, I guess that is, name, time, plus name again, plus space, frequency. Whether it's duplicated, I don't know. And you can set the format, how high a fidelity you want. And then there's a bunch of other options. Then there's these all these recording options. And this is this is where you have to spend some time selecting the options best for you. For me, the default options weren't good because it was recording almost everything. And every time it 
finds the scanner plugin finds a new frequency and stops, it would create a new file. And then it would close the file. And it created a new file. And so I was getting, within a few seconds, I had a dozen files. So I had to go in there and change some of things. And I could spend an hour just on these options, which I'm not going to do at this point in time. If you have a specific question, please leave a comment. Okay, so there's the options. Then you can... Once you get everything set up, you can turn on record. So right now, I am not scanning. I'm just listening to that one frequency I found. So let's see what the record does. And it tells you up here what it's doing. Should I scan in? Should I zoom in a little more? Yeah, there we go. So this is, up here, it's telling you what it's doing. Right now, it's... Um, hasn't recorded anything and it hasn't used up any megabytes of memory and uh, this is for the current file and then this is for all the files that's recorded okay and it also tells you how many buffers it dropped I'm not sure exactly what that means okay so we're going to turn on record and I'm going to turn my speaker back up to see if there's any audio probably won't be just because I'm recording. Okay, so let's. I'm going to put the scanner option or plug-in back in scan. See if we pick up anything. Oop, pick up noise. Now it didn't capture that noise. Now initially, on the default settings, it would record that little burp there, and you'd end up with thousands of files. So I tweaked the options so it doesn't do that it waits until the audio has been present for so many seconds before it starts record so you might lose something on the front end but you don't get all these tiny little files okay and of course it's not going to find anything now this is the this is the band that I selected to try to capture the forest service. And I got that one frequency and that's all I've gotten. So let's stop that. So we're going to stop that scan. Record is still on. And I go to local business, which if you viewed my previous video on my scans on the local business, what I'm calling local business, it's 150 to 160 megahertz, which I have narrowed down now to 150 to 156. So I've stayed below the marine band. And I'm going to scan that and see what we find. The other day I was finding a lot of schools. And now we're going to come back up here and watch this status. And of course it's not finding anything. Now the other thing is, under the frequency scanner, which is down below what's on the screen right now. Okay, you can see it's recording. And then it waited the number of seconds I told it to wait before it get, stopped recording. So it says it recorded one file. Okay. So now it's recorded seven files, seven individual. So I'm going to stop the recording. And I'm going to stop the scanner. Okay. So it has recorded a total of eight files. Now, I'm pretty sure they were all on the same frequency. But since... The transmission stopped and started for that length of time that I designated. When we go to configure, we can see what I designated. And I'll have to move the camera over. Oops, yeah, that's the right one. Okay, so what I did is uh, under record options, I said, number one, I said uh, use a squelch so that is I believe what that what that's saying is that 
once a squelch is broken, then start recording. And in it, then you can say, continue recording after the squelch has closed for two seconds. So that way it hangs around for an additional two seconds in case transmissions restart. And therefore, it will save the recording as a continuous recording in the one file. And then down here it says create a new file if the frequency has changed. Definitely want to click that. And I'm trying to think. Okay, here it is. You can also click waiting time to create a new file. And then you set how long you want it to wait before it creates a new file. So again, if you have intermittent transmissions, you can keep those in one file instead of creating a whole bunch of files. And then there's a whole bunch of other things. Okay. Now, let's see if we can find those files. May not be able to. Let's see. Let's go to recent places. And let me zoom out so you can... Well, I'll move the camera. I say I'll move the camera. God, why the camera won't move there? There we go. So here's the recent files that have been put on my computer. And the one at the top, which is the one that's most recent, is titled one, excuse me, 151.485 megahertz unknown. So that is the frequency that the scanner was stopping. This is a folder. So I look in the folder. Whoops. Now, why do you say it's deleted? Was this the right? Oh, that's not the right date. So forget that one. Why is that even showing? Hmm. Oh, that's strange. Let me go back here. And maybe I've done a boo-boo here. And he, no. That looks really weird. Oh. That's supposed to be the date. That, that time, that day, that date doesn't look right. And so that's, I don't think that's what it's recorded. So forget that. Where'd it go? Uh, I think it, if I go to downloads and I go to SDR sharp. Now, one thing you can do is you can designate the directory to store these files in. And I did that the other day and I forgot what it was. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can find. I don't see them. I know they're here someplace. Let me see. I've sorted by. Sorted by date modified. Okay. No group. That's the one that it does. Get. There it is. There's where the files are that it created. So it created, uh, these are actually folders. It created all these folders. So you can see I haven't quite get this tuned, this application or this plugin tuned right. So let's look at the dates. Yeah, this is about the time frame that I recorded. And there's, oh, these are all different frequencies. Well, yeah, these are all different frequencies. So let's just take the top one, here, which is 150.815 frequency, I mean megahertz unknown. So let's look at that one. There's one file. And I don't know what the 83246 is. Hmm. Oh, it's probably the time. So it's it's called the this particular file, 83246, which I think it's the time it was recorded. So let's try playing that, see if there's anything there. Yeah, there it is. So, it did record it and did put it in this individual file. So, I still got to do some more tweaking because I'm getting just too many folders. Granted, it does seem, yeah, they all are different frequencies. So apparently, 
it's caught during that time that I was recording it caught all these different frequencies so let's try another one 152.305 see if there's anything there but no one. yeah okay that was when I was on the other band which I thought I could capture the Forest Service so there again it stands out by itself if I go back here it tells you the frequency it tells you the time it was recorded and then these are the folders and then here are the individual files under that frequency at multiple times I mean that is pretty cool I probably need to do a little more tweaking on the options but that's pretty cool so I wanted to show you that um, one of my subscribers his name is um, I get over here Brian Brian showed me these two programs he actually uh, did a little video did, a, did two little videos to show me these programs and kind of how to set them up so thank you Brian I've got them working I need to do some more tweaking but this is just one of many many plugins that are available for SDR sharp and like I say you yeah, gotta have patience because there's not a lot of documentation but there are some great plugins so that's the show if you enjoyed the show please give me a thumbs up thanks for watching and have a great day and I apologize for my bad cameraman work I'm not very good at doing the cameraman work and talking bye bye